Okay, welcome back to day 27 of the ICD Games Daily Dollop of Maths. Keeping the math skills bubbling over for year one and year two while we can't be in school. Um, uh, thanks for coming back. Uh, please be sat with an adult. Please um, have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. Uh, and please call out and love your mistakes. And um, the only way we learn is to identify what we don't know now. And I make mistakes all day long, so don't worry about it. Okay, right now. So we're going to start with some counting. Now I'm going to just sort of wash this along to somewhere and hide the number. What would that number be? Turn to partner. Yes. 38. 2 less than 40. 38. There we go. Let's change it again. What about that number? Yeah, you're tempted to say 65, aren't you? Because it's halfway, it's something 5. But actually, it's not even got to 60 yet. It's just a, it's just over the 50, so it's actually 55. OK, here comes the next one. What's that number? Don't your partner. Yes, it's 72. OK, let's swap things around a bit. This one's a bit like a thermometer. Things that measures the temperature, higher the numbers. What's that number? Oh, that's tricky, isn't it? Ooh, what's that number? Hmm, it's tricky because it's you might want to say eighty-three, but it's going this th this way is up, this way is down, this way is lower. This way is counting up, so we need to either count backwards from 80 or think what on earth is the friendly number? What, else, what is the multiple of 10 that's down here? Yeah, it's 10 less than this one, which is 10 less than 80 is 70. So this is 75, 76, 77. Or we could go backwards, 79, 78, 77. Good job, guys. OK, now uh, this is the weather chart. Now, uh, in year one, we need to be able to say the days of the week and spell them and put them in the right order. And year two, do the same thing for months of the year. Uh, so I'm just going to use the weather chart just for today, even though it doesn't really fit with what we're doing. Uh, what's the weather like where I am today? Well, the weather's a bit cloudy here, so a bit cloudy. Uh, right, OK, so definitely year ones, join in. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, today is Wednesday for me. So, uh, so I'm looking for Wednesday. There's Wednesday. OK, Wednesday. OK, and uh, the date is uh, one more than five. Yeah, six, the sixth. And uh, the month is what's the month? Uh, we've had we've had April. What's the next month after April? Yeah, May. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change these now because I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, what what would happen if it was the seventh? If it was the day after Wednesday? What's the next day after Wednesday? Turn to your partner. Yes, it would be Thursday, wouldn't it? Fantastic. OK. Oh, there's a bit missing there. Uh, what's the day before Sunday? What's the day before Sunday? Yes, there's Sunday. The day before is Saturday. OK. What's the... I have to fix that, aren't I? Look, there's a little bit missing. What's the day after Sunday? Yeah. There's Sunday. It goes back to the start again, to Monday. OK. Uh, OK, year twos. Uh, join in now. So we'll say the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. OK, join in, everybody. Come on. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now it's May at the minute. What is the month after May? What month comes after May? You might want to say January, February, March. You say it's, sometimes it's easier to say it in your head. January, February, March, April, May. Yes, it's June. The next one, the next one is June. Okay. 
what is the month after September? What month comes after September? You might want to say them in your head. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. October, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Fantastic. Okay. So, guys, if you fancy a job uh, for today, why not year ones write out the days of the week on a little on a piece of paper, then cut them up and then play a game with a partner where you shuffle them around and work out which one's missing. OK, or you, or you could put them in the right order and work out which one, hide one and work out which one's missing. And along the same lines, year twos, why don't you write out the months of the year? It's pretty hard to spell, um, which you need to be able to do it. Uh, spell the months of the year and then put those in the right order on little pieces of paper. If you really want to practice your spellings, uh, there's a game called Spooky Spellings on the website on ICT Games. If you choose year one and then choose book seven, oh no, book eight, sorry. Choose year one and book eight, that's got the days of the week for year ones. And if you're in year two, choose two and choose book 12. And that's got the months of the year if you want to practice how to spell them. OK, I thought I'm just going to take it to the next level a little bit. In year three, which we this video isn't for year three, but you know, you might as well have a look. You need to know how many days are in each month. And there's a trick to doing it. If you make your fist, this is my left hand here. OK, make a fist. If I touch each knuckle, all the ones that are uh, knuckles or, or, or fingers are days, are months that have um, 31 days. So watch January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and then it goes back over to this side again. August, September, October, November, December. And it's always tricky to remember which days, which months of the year have 31 days. So let's do that again. So January. So if they stick up, if it's a knuckle, it's a 31. If it's down here, if it's in the little gap in between, um, it's not 31. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Look, 31, 31, 31, 31. Not 31, not 31, not 31. Uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Oh, and you don't need to know that yet, but it might be worth practicing. OK, let's move on to our next thing. We're going to have a look at this. We're going to have a look at an array. Oh, I should have said it. Oh, I'm such a rubbish teacher. Oh, dear me. What's that called, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's called an array. Oh, you are clever. Turn to the person next to you and say, oh, you're clever. Right, so there's five here. That's time number one. That's time number two. That's time number three. Five times three. Time number one, time number two, time number three. Let's count in fives. Five, ten, fifteen. So there's fifteen there. Everybody write down five times three equals fifteen. Five times three equals fifteen. If you're feeling really whizzy, why don't you write down another thing you could think of? Five, add, five, add, five equals... 15, that's right, yeah, fantastic. Now, particularly year twos, what else do you know? What else do you know? Yeah, five times three is 15. Let's see if uh, three times five is 15. There's three, time number one, time number two, time number three, time number four, time number five. Let's count in threes. Year twos, you've got to be able to count in threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And again, slower, sorry. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So, five times three is fifteen. And three times five is fifteen. Okay, don't worry, year ones. You don't need to know all of this. Uh, interesting thing to know, though, is 3, add 3, add 3, add 3, add 3 is also 15. OK, year 1's just um, have an imaginary cup of tea and dunk a biscuit a minute. 
Okay, year twos, watch this. Okay, we're, if we know our multiplication facts, we can also find out some division facts. So handy to know your multiplication facts. 15 divided into piles of 3 equals 5. Here we go. I'm grouping these. That's So I've got 15, and I'm share, uh, not sharing it, I'm um, making it into groups of 3. Uh, that's group number one, group number two, group number three, group number four, group number five. So knowing your three, knowing your fact three times five equals fifteen also helps you with the division facts. Let's put it back together the other way. Let's think of the multiplication fact the other way, and let's look at the division fact. Just year year ones, just relax a minute. This is way too tricky. This is for year twos to look at. Fifteen divided by five equals three. Make it into piles of five. How many piles to get? One, two, three. Fantastic. Okay, now um, year twos definitely need to be practicing our two, three, sorry, two, five, and ten times table. Okay, guys, two, five, and ten times table. So anything you can do to practice writing it out on paper and learning it would be brilliant. Um, what I like to do sometimes is write it out onto little uh, rectangles of paper, write 5 times 3 on one side of the piece of paper, turn it over and write 15 on the other side, and then you lay them all out flat and you challenge your partner to see who can win as many by knowing the answers. If there's any year twos who know the 2, 5 and 10 times table, there is this bunny battlefront game, and in this bubble bunny battlefront game you have to answer 5 questions with a little keypad, and then, if once you've answered five questions, every question you get right, you get ten carrots and you fly an aeroplane. Okay, there's a year two section, not a year four section. Don't do that. A year two section with two, five, and ten times tables. I'm just going to show you. It's super quick. We're not going to do it. There's a three second wait. Then I I need to answer one of these. So I know that two times three is six. And then I get three seconds to wait. I know that, and I've got um, five seconds uh, to work out the answer. The answer to that is 50. Oh, no, a bit less than that, sorry. Uh, two times 10 is 20. You have to know them quite quickly for this game. 10 times 5 is 50. You can use the keypad on the on the game. You don't, Year ones, just relax. This isn't for you. Okay. And then when you've done all that, you can fly. Whoa. You can fly this little airplane. Sorry, it's a bit loud. Okay, I'll come out of that now. <laughs> Sorry. So any year twos feeling that they've got a good idea about their two, five, and ten times table, that one might be an interesting one for you. Okay, so we're warmed up now. We're gonna do some we're gonna carry on with the subtraction that we started last time. Uh, you need your piece of paper and your pencil ready. Well, we're going to do 53 take away 33. 53 minus 33. Okay, 53 subtract 33. They all mean the same thing. Just silly ways of saying the same thing. Right, so can you write that for me as a vertical, as a column subtraction? Pause the video and write that for me. Okay. Right, before I do it on it that way, I'm going to do it with my part, part, whole. 53 take away 33. So I've got 53, and I've got to take away 33. Okay, so you just give me a second. Sorry, guys. To make 53. Uh, whoops. Okay, that's five tens and three ones. Okay. Now, I'm going to take, I'm going to take away from this 53 33. So how many tens do I need to... Oh, sorry. Whoops. Can I start at the tens? No, I can't, can I? That was wrong. Mustn't do that. It really makes a huge difference later. Do not start at the tens. Turn to the person next to you say, don't start at the tens. Don't start at the tens. Turn to the person next to you say, start at the ones. Start at the ones. Right, take away three ones. One, two, three. Okay, now I can do the tens. How many tens am I taking away? Three, ten, twenty. There we go, and that leaves me the answer. That what's that answer? Yeah, twenty. Oops. 
So we think 53 take away 33 is going to be 20. Let's have a look. Let's see the vertical. 3 take away 3. Leave 0. Looking good so far. 50 take away 30. Or you can think of it as 5 take away 3. 1, 2, 3 leaves two and that two means the value of that two is 20 so 53 take away 33 equals 20 is that what we got before yes it is turn to the person next to you say oh you're good oh you're good okay okay let's do another one uh okay 36 take away 11 so pause the video write 36 take away 11 as a vertical for me 36 take away 11 write it as a vertical Okay, we're going to do that now. 36 take away 11. Let's clear all this. 36, and we're taking away 11. So I'm going to make 36. How many 10s in 36? Yes, 3. Uh, how many 1s? Oh, I did it the wrong side. Honestly. Uh, there we go. Love your mistakes, Mr. Brown. Okay. So that's 36. Okay. Take away 11. So... Where do I start? Can I start at the tens? No. Say, so don't start the tens. Don't start the tens. Tens person next to you say, start at the ones. Start at the ones. Okay. One, one, one. How many tens? One ten. What's left? Tens your partner? Yes. 25. So we think it's going to be 36 take away 11 is 25 is what we think. Okay, let's go and find out if we're right. So, uh, six, take away one, just take away one. Okay, and that's five. 30, take away 10, just leave 20. 36, take away 11 equals 25. Let's see if we were right, see if we got that right before. Yes, we did, 36, take away 11 is 25. Turn to the person next to you say, oh, you're good, oh, you're good. Fantastic, right, guys, uh, that'll do for the today. Um, if... So, again, if year ones want to do something, perhaps they should um, uh, go to year, spooky spellings, try year one, and I think it's in sets in book seven. Here we go. Practice spelling those. Oh, it wasn't the numbers. It was the days of the week we were talking about, wasn't it? Book eight. I'm so sorry. I think I confused you earlier on. Book eight would help you to practice the days of the week. And um, year twos, book 12 would help you to practice the months of the year. Okay, and then if, if that doesn't uh, appeal, then you've also got, oh, sorry, wrong thing, you've also got um, practicing vertical taking away with that, no tricky columns, okay, and and also I'll put the link there for that bunny battle front for any year twos are feeling really good with their times table. So super job, guys. So your treat today is this. Imagine you're in assembly, but you want to talk to your friend. Well have no fear for now you have the big toe communicator what happens is you learn morse code and you tap your big toe inside your shoe and you can send messages to your friend because he receives it in his shoe he gets a little buzz and then you can send a message back there we go fantastic okay guys super job see you next time thanks for your time bye bye